So I thought I'd give you an update on what's been going on and what's happening at the moment on the boat. Seeing as I'm stuck in Milo for the winter, the electrics panel is all in bits, fitting a new radio. You'll see there's also a whole load of stainless steel joints there to build the new solar arch. There's a whole load of stainless steel that we'll build the arch with. I've got to say it looks huge. Fingers crossed it all goes well. First thing to do though is to move things out of the way on the push pit. Just by way of an update on Starlink, I've got to say, I don't recommend anyone buys it. Uh, they are not ready. Their customer service is appalling. It's been broken now for 14 days and I still haven't had a response from a human being. So, not good. Not good at all. When it's working, it's great. When it's not working, you can forget about getting it fixed because you don't get a response from them disgraceful really i thought the uk isps were bad but starlink have taken things to a whole new level Okay, so that's all the two pieces fitted to hold the frame up. Now to start unpacking the frame. There's the six uprights. Three cross pieces. Two diagonals to give it rigidity. And two 3.6 meter pieces to run across the boat. So we have help coming this morning in the form of Frankie from Moondance Sailing to help lift this onto the uprights and get that all bolted on. And then it's just a case of adding the diagonals to strengthen it all. Can't wait to get it all put together. My old school chum Johnny is coming as well this morning. So hopefully between the three of us we can get it all sorted. Then it's a case of um, taking all the grub screws out and putting the Loctite in and fixing it all permanently. I've got to say the whole idea of building this solar arch myself is down to Frankie. He built his own solar arch on Moondance. It's quite a bit shorter than the arch that I've built. I wanted to be able to stand up without having to crouch on the back of the boat. Um, and even give it a little bit of headroom for someone who might be slightly taller than me because I'm not the tallest bloke in the world. So all credit to Frankie. He's um, helped me go through what's needed in terms of the fittings and how to put it all together. I'm extremely grateful to him for that. Saved me an absolute fortune. Anyway, back to the build. And here comes Frankie. <laughs> and there's Johnny! 
first thing we need to do before we can lift this up onto the uprights is to loosen off all of these fittings. Okay, so you've just loosened that one off. Yeah. So you've got a bit of play at the top and you're going to do the same on the other ones. That can move. Yeah. Oh, you buy me the nicest things. Did you want? I need a third one. So he's got proper Showing ones. Showing off now. <laughs> he's got proper ones. Mine is shit. <laughs> Just like, I could I could have brought an impact bloody drive, which makes life a bit quicker. <coughs> and strips everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's got not a, a good honest. You've got um, three settings on it. All right. Where do you want me? Right. What are we doing? What's what your plan? What do you need? Okay. We'll put so, it out. I'll tell you what. You take that. Uh, no, actually, you've got one. Um, you can tighten things up if Johnny and I hold it. How's that work? You slide it in and I'll hold it. Yeah. That's just too close to the line. Yeah. I've not brought my snorkel to. <laughs> We're not at all childish. <laughs> so, what? what you speak for yourself. So is this the this frame. This is the frame. It's going to sit on top of these. Oh, wow. it's, it's the right way as it is. It's the correct way, so it's just going to go oh, that's wicked, around these yeah. and then onto the top. Good. Nice. And um, obviously round. Right. Yeah, if you're going to make it this way, you're going to need more than one person then, to do keep it. Going. Keep going. Keep going. Get away. Yeah. Mostly in there now. Can we nip them up and then just treat them up as we go? If you film me, just remind me to breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do that when we're filming. Oh, that's where I've been going wrong. Is that why I look so fat on video? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one here, I think, is what's pushing it that way. That's leaning that way that needs that needs to go that way a bit doesn't it yeah that one's to go that way that one wants to go back that way yeah. the big question on all your lips is going to be how much does all this cost so let me start by pointing out that of the three quotes that i got for having a stainless arch manufactured and installed on the boat the cheapest was three and a half thousand pounds what I've spent so far is £318 on the steel itself, and that was all pre-cut to length, and £323 on all of the fittings. Surprising that the fittings are more expensive than the actual steel to build it, but there we go. So the, the total of £641. Now there's a few extra bits that I'm going to add that you might not need to, um, I'm just doing belt and braces and I'm having those manufactured in steel cable and I could have gone cheap and used Dyneema instead so the actual cost of all the extra bits that I'm going to add in to strengthen the frame you could get away with a few pounds anyway I'll cover all of that in the next video and more than likely fitting the solar panels and the MPPTs in the next video as well they should be arriving this week Frankie's put together his own version of this video, so if you'd like to compare and contrast, I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Peace and fair winds.